have we ever questioned to ourselves that what we actually are because it is very important for all of us to understand that to understand the outside world to understand the people around us or any kind of events or any kind of circumstances or any kind of pain or sorrow or happiness anything anything which is happening with us why this is happening to me or if it is happening that then uh, how it affects me or what are the reasons for which i am experiencing this there are lots of questions this lots of lots of questions are definitely we are asks, asking to our own selves throughout the day throughout the years and years uh but have we ever asked this question to ourselves that what i am actually are what i am actually what is my entity what is my uh, actual existence what i am defined of because without giving without knowing your own self without knowing your own entity you can't solve any problem in this in, in this universe it's impossible to solve so if i look back to myself and ask myself what i am then i have three points to discuss that i am a body first of all because i can see it whenever i look to the mirror i can see it even without looking to mirror i can see my legs i can feel uh, touch my hands i can uh, touch my head and hair and all those things i can feel it and when i look into the mirror i can see the whole body existence of myself the first first and foremost uh, important uh, answer which comes to my mind that i am a body second if i am a body only then definitely those thoughts those questions those those inner uh, 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 conversation which is going in my head or going in my mind that's not won't be possible if i am only a body on the physical existence like the tv like the sofa like the computer like anything in this materialistic world they all have a body physical body but what they don't have which differentiate them and human being that we have mind they don't have the mind okay so second point is i know that i have i have a mind i have a mind this is see uh, the way we are narrating it i never say that i am a mind i have a body i never said or we never say that uh, we are a body we said we have a body we have hands we have legs we have uh, whatever <laughs> hair and all those things we have then who we are we have mind we have thoughts we have feelings i i have my feeling i have my thoughts i have my a uh, belief system but who am i definitely neither i am a body nor i am a mind then who am i it's very important a uh, question to be asked to ourselves because without having the answer of this question we can't get answers of any questions in our life throughout the existence of our life i am not a body i have a body i am not a mind i have a mind then who am i who am i before giving the answer of who am i first uh, uh, look this two important aspects then it will solve 90% uh, problems in our life if i am not a body i have a body i am not a body it's for sure then any kind of thing which is going through my body which i am facing through my body which i am experiencing through my body i have the full power to overcome that pain or that uh, overcome that uh, experience whatever it is any kind of problems if i am i am going through a surgery i have a surgery then our we know in our consciousness i know in my consciousness that i am in a surgery due to this reason my body i am in a surgery is a wrong thing my body is in surgery due to this reason my body is going through a surgical experience whatever it is 
it is going through due to this reason and as i am not a body then this surgical pain will not affect me entirely it can't affect me because it's only a body and it will recover as the time goes on when we have this consciousness then any kind of things any kind of experiences we have faced in our life that will not affect us that can't affect us similarly in the second uh, stage if i have the consciousness that i am not a mind i have a mind okay so whatever we are facing that is any kind of emotional pain any kind of tragedy if it happens with our life any kind of very close one uh, the death of the close one or departure from a closed one or whatever it is any kind of incidents for which we are going through a pain emotional pain or trauma if we have the consciousness that i am not facing the pain my mind is facing the pain okay and the pain is temporary it's not because I, because as i am not the mind as i am not the body also similarly i am not the mind i am some some something else which we will define later so any kind of pain if you are going through in a, in our lives in a in our lifetime any kind of emotional trauma any kind of disheartenedness or uh, bad experience experience bad i can't say but experience which gives us pain for which we are facing pain we can deal it very easily just by understanding that my mind is going through this pain due to this reason first of all we have to understand what are the reasons as my body is going through a surgery i know the reason very clearly because doctor doctor came us came to us and not uh, just uh, identified that this is the reason like gall bladder stone i have a gall bladder stone surgery few years back so doctor noticed me okay go the ultrasound uh, and, and from the ultrasound report it came clearly that you have stone in your gall bladder you have to remove it it's very very clear to me that i have this problem and how can i get rid of this problem if i do my surgery or i i have to take medicine for few months and then i have to go through the surgery i will definitely recover it it's very simple and easy in case of the body but in case of the mind we don't have such kind of transparency even today we don't have understanding even today that my mind is facing as my body was facing this kind of disease my mind is facing this kind of things due to this this reasons and all those reasons are not in my hand sometimes it's outside situation but i in case of the mind you have much control rather than your body it's in your hand because just uh, shifting your thoughts not diverting your mind i'm changing i'm just saying that shifting your thought from negative to positive you can easily control the pain which is going through in your mind the second point is also very clear that as i am not a mind my mind is facing this kind of pain and it will be shifted off easily if i wished it to do so so these two things are very clear neither i am a body nor i am a mind then what i am what am i third point come and which is the most important point that what am i who is noticing the mind and body these two things then the answer is soul i am a soul a being here it comes the soul consciousness and if you are on on the journey of your soul consciousness then it's it's very very easy for you to handle any kind of situations which is which you are facing in case of your mind and body because only this two things anything which you are facing in your mind with your emotions with your thoughts that gives you pain or any kind of physical disease or physical uh, any anything happen with your physic with your body maybe that is surgery or maybe that is any disease or anything that gives you pain except this two things nothing can give you pain nothing can give anybody pain so how to uh, be on the journey of the soul consciousness how to increase uh your soul consciousness level how to work on that how to make yourself aware that you are a pure soul you are just be a being 
which is oneness that is the main motto of my channel and i just as i am also the journey of this soul consciousness shifting my thoughts from mind to soul it's a beautiful journey and uh, our purpose is just to ascend with the universe uh, with the soul consciousness level so definitely i will definitely uh, discuss the soul consciousness also in my next uh, video and uh, till the till that we are just have an easily understand in, our, in today's video that neither we are mind nor we are body it means that neither we are emotions or thoughts nor we are the appearance or look so these two things anything which happens with these two things can never affect me if it is clear then 90% or 95% problems will be solved in our life take care all of you be this journey with me hope we will ascend together thank you so much love you all bye bye